what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm going to teach you how to use steam remote play now if you do not know what steam remote play is it's really easy all you're doing is you're using one computer preferably the one that has all the horsepower making it play the game and then streaming that game to a computer that doesn't have all the horsepower you know probably one that's like you know in your in your living room in a different room basically that's what we're going to do here and i'm going to teach you how to do it so let's get right to it Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Steam. So search Steam on your favorite search engine. Then go over to here. We'll do install Steam. Install Steam. And then it's going to start downloading. And then you're going to open up that folder. And you're going to double click on it and let it do its whole thing. I have Steam already installed, so I'm not going to go through that step. So let's just go ahead and get to where we need to go. Okay, so you have both computers with Steam installed on them. What you're going to want to do is log in to both of those computers with your Steam account. Then you're going to want to go to the upper left hand corner, click on the little Steam icon, scroll down to settings, and then come all the way down to remote play. Click that, and you're going to want to enable remote play. All right, that's on your main computer. Now, on your secondary computer, you're going to want to do the same thing. So what you're going to do here is log in, make sure you're logged in, go to the upper left hand corner, go down to settings. Once this window is open to go all the way down to remote play, click that, and then finally click enable remote play. And if you can see both computers came up with ready for streaming. Now, how you're going to make this work is really easy. So we're going to close out of this guy right here. We're going to go to my library. We're going to go to home and as you can see i have all these games right here that i can play what we're going to do is we're going to look at Baldur's gate 3 here notice how it says play here it's because i also have it downloaded on this computer but if i don't want to play it on this computer which is a really wise decision because this computer that i that you see is old and definitely definitely doesn't need to play any in any games honestly click this arrow here, click this. And so now it says stream. So what that means is I'm going to stream it from my main PC to this computer here. So we just click that. We're going to let it do its thing. And here we are. From here, you're just doing your thing. Hit play. We'll see how good this computer actually records it. I am running OBS on the slow computer as well. So let's see, let's see if I can skip through all of this stuff. For the record, the best thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have their both computers wired on the same network. You can do over the over Wi-Fi. That's currently what's happening right now. I have my main computer wired into my router and then the other computer is uh, being Wi-Fi over, but I mean, you are going to notice little differences, so that's all right. And for fun, I'm going to put both of these computers monitors side by side. So sorry about the little, little stuff. You could just zoom in if you want to. So we're going to go to load game. We're going to go to this one. Um, we're going to go to here and we're going to load just for fun and so you can see what's happening here and the great thing is is I have two different mice and so one mouse moves one computer and the other mouse moves the other computer but you can see that number which one of these mice this one here or this guy here they both do the same thing on both computers all right here we are here we are. So for fun, we'll do shift F12. That way you can see what the FPS is and the CPU usage. I guarantee you that my Alienware is not going to be 23% used. It's absolutely going to be way up in there. So yeah, this is what that looks like. which isn't all that bad for a computer that's being streamed. 
So, results are going to vary depending on your connection and depending on what you have going on. But that's okay. Just work with it. Tinker with your settings a little bit. Try to get the best performance, uh, but also the best quality. And it all depends on your router and your hardware that you're running things off of. I highly recommend doing it. So yeah, that's it. It's that simple. It's that easy. It doesn't take much to do. I promise it's worth your time. Absolutely worth your time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.